Well, let's say I was disappointed, uh, more than surprised. Uh, obviously, this is a big blow because this legislation was uh, pointed in the right direction. I think New Jersey was entitled to have uh, the right to have sports betting in the state. Uh, the court sees it, obviously, in a different way. Uh, it will have a, a, a fiscal impact uh, on the future in terms of gaming in our state. Uh, I don't know how we're going to get around it, but I think Senator Lesiak has some ideas I'd like to work with him on. I was just going to ask you about that. He was quoted today as saying that essentially, and he's told me on this very same program, that the key may be to deregulate, to stop the state from having any regulation over sports betting at all, let the casinos essentially handle it, and then that would uh, give us a pass, I guess, from existing federal regulations. Is that something that could clear your committee? Uh, we're going to have to do some research on that, but I think he's on the right track. I mean, after all, when it comes to enforcing marijuana laws in states, the feds uh, don't seem to be too vigilant about that. So if we, if we do uh, uh, follow the same uh, legislative uh, model where we eliminate the uh, local requirement, uh, enforcement requirement, it, it might work. Let me ask you now about the story that broke uh, just before we uh, entered the last weekend. That is Revel saying essentially... Uh, if they don't find a buyer, they could be closed very, very soon and essentially giving pink slips in advance to uh, all of the, what, 3,000 people who work there saying if, it, if there's no deal, they're out of work. What, what do you make of what's happened down there at Revel? Uh, look, I think it was ill-conceived from the beginning. You know, uh, the marketing strategy uh, has not worked. Uh, you know, the, in terms of what the city and state and county have done uh, to try to support this effort uh, hasn't led to any success. Uh, it's time for a referendum in the state of New Jersey to, to relocate gaming in the north. Uh, it seems to be the only answer to uh, uh, bringing back that revenue, those valuable tax dollars to the state of New Jersey. You and I have, over the last couple of three years, spoken about this frequently. Do you mm -hmm. sense that your argument, which essentially would, would lead to the creation of a, of a casino, uh, in the Meadowlands, perhaps, and certainly in other places around the state. Are you any closer, do you think, to getting the, the people who need to sign off on this to sign off on this? I think the numbers and, and the events that have led to uh, this present situation will dictate the policy. Uh, I do believe that it's time for the referendum, and I think it's imminent. I think it will happen. Uh, I don't know if it'll be the next couple of months, but it's time for us to take a real hard look at this and uh, stop playing around. Uh, we've lost hundreds of millions of dollars of tax revenue. Other states are doing it. Here we are having a difficult time funding our pensions and closing our budget uh, for seniors, for disabled residents, for our taxpayers. It's time that we, uh, we get out there and compete for those customers that we've lost and uh, do as Pennsylvania's done, move their locations. That notwithstanding, is there anything Atlantic City, the casinos, the casino operators, the community, the state for that matter, is there anything that could be done or should be done in the short term to make Atlantic City more viable, to, to turn some of those declining casino win numbers around? Uh, I think it's going to, they've reached capacity, and that's, uh, that's the problem. You're going to see a couple other places close. Uh, a new owner, a new player at the Revel may bring that, may have a shot to uh, be successful. Uh, but what happens to all those employees uh, the real estate market, the, the, the regional depression that, and recession uh, that's taken place because of the down, uh, downturn in the uh, casino industry. So it's very sad. Uh, we need somebody to buy that place. Uh, I mean, from a $2.4 billion investment, uh, they'll probably pick it up for a song, but someone's got to operate. They're losing $2 million a week. Uh, so I don't know where they're going to find all these customers. They're in other places at this point. And uh, that's why I've, I've proposed, and I still f want to fight, uh, to move that location up to North Jersey where we would be in a position uh, to, to attract those customers that have left our boundaries. But Assemblyman, for those who say that's all well and good and it might benefit the state, but that could be the death warrant for Atlantic City as we have known it. Uh, well, you, we've you got to, we've got to, well, we've got to tax that casinos or casino at a higher rate, 50 to 60 percent, and we've got to provide resources for Atlantic City to come back. Uh, it may not be totally in the gaming area, but Atlantic City has got to win on this also, and the only way we're going to do it is put money behind our plans. Uh, we've got to put money behind those, those efforts to bring Atlantic City back. Assemblyman, have to leave it there. Always a pleasure. Thank you for coming back on the program, sir. Thank you so much, Mike.